Counts, uh, Consequently, I would invite the Honorable Member for Abitibita Ms. Kemang to use her right of reply. The Honorable Member will have up to five minutes for her comments. The Honorable Member for Abitibita Ms. Kemang. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to take the time to respond to some of the arguments that have been presented to vote against my bill, especially on the Liberal side. I think it's very important for each one of them to take the time to listen carefully to understand them. They mentioned that there's already uh, an EI program that has 12 weeks before the expected date of birth, but pregnancy lasts for some time and 28 weeks during which women receive nothing. There's risks of congenital defects and miscarriage during early trimesters, and we are not protecting them. That is why it's important to have preventative withdrawal from the workplace to allow women to have an income, especially when other women in that province receive them. We were talking about the fact that there might be two employees working for the same employer. One resides in Quebec, the other in Ontario, and they would not have access to the same protection. But that's already the case when it comes to parental leave in the House of Commons. If one resides in Ontario and one resides in Ontario, they don't have the same program. One will get EI and the other on the Quebec EI leave regime will have different benefits. We already have a by-province approach when it comes to parental leave. Might as well have an approach based on province when it comes to preventative withdrawal from the workplace. Let's continue the same logic in that situation. What I wish to say is that currently the only provinces in which we could benefit from this is Quebec. It's true, but there are other ministers who are working on programs like this one because they see how important it is. There are progressive governments in Alberta, in British Columbia, who are studying this matter and are realizing just how important it can be crucial in family planning to have preventative withdrawal from the workplace. So to say only Quebecers benefit from it, well, that's true, but that doesn't mean that that's going to be true forever. And I hope that we are going to move on this. We could perhaps put forward a federal program, a pan-Canadian program, except that 85% of employees are under provincial jurisdiction. It's much more logical to let provinces decide for themselves what program they want. And for us to respect provincial programs to allow province, people working in the same province to benefit from the same protections. What we're seeing is that it's clear there's no reason to vote against this, at, especially at second reading, where there is still the committee stage to consider. If the considerators have understood that this is a matter of women's rights, that this is a matter of protecting, protecting and uh, women who are pregnant and nursing and set their partisanship aside to support my bill, and we know that we have very different visions on many issues. Well, I think that there's absolutely no reason for the Liberals to decide to act in a partisan fashion and to refuse rights to women who are pregnant and nursing. I think women should be able to have a safe pregnancy and not end up in a precarious financial situation. I hope that they will understand what this is about and that they will allow this bill to go to committee because this is really a matter of women's rights. And I think we really need to act. Women deserve to be able to have a safe pregnancy without ending up in a financially precarious situation. Thank you. Question is the suivante. Question is as follows. Ms. Moore, seconded by Ms. Boutin-Sweet, proposes that Bill C-345, an act to amend the Canada Labour Code, pregnant and nursing employees, be now read a second time and referred to the Standing Committee on the Status of Women. Is it the pleasure of the House to adopt the motion? All those who support the motion will please say yay. Those opposed to the motion will please say nay. In my opinion, the nays have it. As per section, uh, Standing Order 93, the re recorded division stands deferred until Wednesday, October 4th, 2017, immediately before the time provided for private members' business. And in accordance with